Hello, my name is Jessica and I would like to welcome all attendees to our web seminar today. In a few minutes, I will be able to extend my colleague Edgar Grasel a warm welcome. He has prepared the topic, Improved Collaboration in Times of Digital Transformation for you today. A little more information for you before we start. You are muted during the web seminar, but are welcome to ask questions about your GoToWebinar in the questions box at any time. After the lecture, we will take the time and answer them. You don't have to take any notes on the web seminar. We will send you the presentation slides in PDF format by email shortly afterwards. You can look forward to an interesting presentation. Welcome, Edgar. Now I will hand over the microphone. Um, thank you and uh, welcome from Austria. Uh, today I'm talking about improved collaboration in times of digital transformation. So, digital transformation is uh, the, the transforming process from manual to digital. When we look back, uh, let's say 20 years ago, uh, then uh, working was much more different than today. There were no emails or emails were in the beginning uh, in the companies, uh, but most of the time we worked with papers and uh, we had a lot of meetings and so on. Today it's a little bit different. We send a lot of emails, we have less paper in our office and uh, meetings are held through Microsoft Teams or Zoom or something. Because uh, the digital transformation or the benefits of the digital transformations are, for example, we can, we can work with our smartphones or mobile devices. We can work from wherever we are. We can work from home office. We can work on the beach if we want to. Um, or we um, can work in the office as well. So it doesn't matter where we sit. Collabor collaboration is much more easier. Uh, we have digital workflows where um, tasks are, are done um, by themselves maybe. Um, and we have, for example, as I said, emails where we can send some messages around the world in just a few seconds. So those are the benefits of the digital transformation. And when we work in the office, then everybody knows what the other one does. Everybody has the same state of information um, and uh, everybody knows what to do, where to find things um, and so on. And the right knows what the guy on the left does, even if they sit in different locations or even if one of them sits in the home office or everybody sits in the home office. We know what uh, the others do. We have the same state of information. We uh, can store our information to a central um, repository and, well, we can work together. So, McKinsey said that, or made this survey, and they said that 80% of businesses use collaboration tools for enhancing the business processes. The, the same survey said that the, the employees are much more uh, happy to, to work there when they have some tools which can make the daily work easier, when they have automated processes and so on. So, digital transformation has many benefits when we work in the same um, company or when we, yes, when we work in the same company. But what if we don't work in the same company? So let's say the three guys on the right um, don't work in the same company like the four guys on the left. So they are not able to collaborate this in the same way they can do in the company. They have to find other ways to, to uh, collaborate with each other. Um, maybe they send many things through emails or, or they share some files via Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive or other things. So I give you an example. We have a company 
the Contilo Corporation. And in the Contilo Corporation, uh, there um, is sitting Fritz Keiler as a marketing manager and Verona Funk as a project manager. And they want to make an image video from their company. So they create uh, some sort of, of project uh, structure in the ELU ECM suite where they can store their documents. So when Fritz Keil makes a document, he can store it to the ELU ECM suite. And when Verona Funk makes some checklists or something, then she can store it there as well. Uh, and everybody knows what the other one does. So they can work together, they can collaborate with each other, they can communicate with each other, even if the one is sitting uh, on a complete different place, but in the same company. And for the image clip for the Contelo Corporation, they have to hire an external partner which is David Lee. David Lee is the video producer. He works in his own uh, company, the Acme Video Production Company, and he has to make the image video for the Contelo Corporation. And he has not the possibility to collaborate with Verona Funk and Fritz Keil the same way they can collaborate with each other. So when he creates a document, then he has to send it via email to Verona Funk, and she has to take the document and store it in the ELU ECM suite. But there are some things that they have to consider when they work this way. They have to ask the question, where are the documents? Are they, uh, is the document in my inbox? Did I store it to my ELO or is it in Dropbox or is it anywhere else? So she has to manage where are the documents and uh, they can be on different places. The next thing, when she finds the document, then she has to ask herself the question, do I have the right version of the document? And which is the right version anyway? So she finds one version in uh, her ELO, um, and she finds one version in her inbox, for example, which one is the right one? Which one is the, the latest version of my document? This leads us to, has everybody the same information, or are there members which don't? Because when David Lee sends a document through email uh, to uh, Verona Funk, and she doesn't store it in the ELU ECM suite, then Fritz Keil will never know that this document exists. Well, she forgets it and nobody has the same information uh, when they uh, want to work together in this project. And the last question is, why don't they collaborate? Why, why isn't it working that, that we can collaborate with an external partner? We can collaborate in our company, but when there's a uh, third partner, uh, then we can't collaborate with them. So what could they possibly do? They can use our new ELU Team Room, because with ELU Team Room, it is possible for David Lee, the video producer, which doesn't work in the same company as those two, uh, that he can collaborate with uh, Verona Funk and Fritz Keil. Because when he creates a document, he can store it in the ELU team room and instantly the two in the Contilo Corporation have access to this document. So they know where the documents are. They are in the project room in the ELU ECM suite and they don't have to search the right version because this is the right version and uh, everybody has the same state of information and everybody can collaborate like they can collaborate in their company. And this I'll show you how it works. So we have our three, um, well, yes, 
project members. The one is Fritz Keil, which works for Contilo Corporation. And he uses the Elurich client to access the repository. And for the project for the image video, they have created a um, project project structure in the ELU repository. It's here. This is the project structure for the Contilo Corporation image video. And in this structure, they can create it just by clicking one one knob. Um, So oh, it's here. And so with this one, they can create a new project structure. And this they have done earlier on. And well, in this structure, they can work together. They can, um, they have some folders where they can store some things like the documentation or when they want to store some graphics, they can store it in here. Here's the music, here's the license for the music, and they even have a checklist for this project. And Fritz Keil is looking at the checklist and says, well, there is one point missing, and this point is we need a script. And somebody has to make a script for this project when they want to produce an image video. So he extends the the points for the the checklist and what he also finds in this structure is a knowledge space where he can uh write a um question or an article or, or he can ask a question he can suggest an idea or he can write an article. And he suggested the idea that they have to make some drone shots of the office building uh, for the for the beginning of the image video. And um, others can vote for the idea. And the more votes he gets, then they can say, well, yes, yes, let's do it. Let's make a drone shot in the beginning of our video. And one guy has commented on this and says great great idea so they can share their opinions they can ask questions they can write articles or they um, can suggest an idea so this is the the way how they collaborate with each other they have a structure where they can store the documents where they can store the files and um, they can they can work on a checklist they can write some information into it. So when um, they, in the last meeting, let's say in the last meeting, uh, Fritz Keil talked to Verona Funk and said, well, I created the structure. What we need in this structure is a template for the script. And Verona Funk, she is working with the ELO desktop client which is the one which sticks on the side of the um, desktop. And with the desktop client, she can access the same structure as well. So she finds the project, project structure here, 2020, and is the Contilo Corp image video. But she can access the knowledge space as well. Just by clicking on preview, then she gets oh, too long. Then she gets the uh, knowledge space where she can see um, the idea from Fritz Keil drone shots for or of the office building, and then she says, "Well, that's a good idea," and um, she can comment comment on it as well. Great idea. Let's do it. And instantly, Fritz Keil gets a notification that Verona Funk has commented on his idea and that she has voted uh, that the idea is a good idea. And when they say, well, OK, let's do it, they can say, they can um, change the state of the idea. They can 
say it's accepted, but this should Fritz Kyle do because it's his idea. She can ask some questions as well in the knowledge space um, or write some articles or share some ideas um, because this is for everyone. And as I said before, Fritz Kyle um, said to Verona Funk, well, could you please store the template for the script into a project structure? And she says, yes. Luckily, I have a template for a script here, um, which, well, which has to be filled out. But this is not my job. The, my job is that I want to give it a title, image, video, Contilo Corporation. And with my desktop client, I am able to store it to ELU directly. So the desktop client knows that I have opened my Word, that there's a document opened in my Word, and um, now I can store it to ELU. No, I can't. Oh. It is stored in ELU um, right away. So the ELU desktop client knows that the document is stored there. And now I only have to save it and close it. And then I have the right version in my ELU in my project, project structure. So this is working with my um, desktop client. I can work with my office applications but I can use the, the business solutions as well. And with the new desktop client plus, I can participate on the workflows as well. So she works with the desktop client because she works mainly with her Microsoft Office environment and she can save documents in ELO and the desktop client knows when the document is saved already and says, I found it as it did now. And the third one in the project is David Lee. David Lee is the external partner. He doesn't work for the Contilo Corporation. He's working for the Acme Video Production Company. Um, and for him, it is not possible to use the same infrastructure as the other two. So normally, as we saw before, he has to send his documents via email um, and and they have to store it in their ELO since now because now we have the possibility with the ELO team room that he can he gets an invitation on his email and then he can log into his ELO team room and he has to change the language to English and then I can log in and what we see here now is the new ELU team room client. So this is a, let's say, some sort of web client he uses, but it's um, very easy to operate and it's yeah intuitive and so on. So everybody knows what to do. Nobody needs a training for working with the team room client. And there he sees he has one team room in here and there are two projects included in this team room. The one is the image video and the other one is another uh, video he has to make for the Contilo Corporation, a new spot uh, or, or a, 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 small spot, a small spot for the new products. But this is our project today. Oh, I was clicking too fast. And there we have the same structure as the others two have in the company. Just remember, he's an external partner and um, he normally can't access this structure. But with the team room, we can grant him access. So what he sees is that there's a, a um, folder for a script and he has prepared another script. Um, next question is, where's my script? Here it is. And he can upload this script to this folder so that the others can see that he has made a script for the image video just by drag and drop. Then he gets a question, what's the name of the document? So let's say script image video. 
and it's one version and so he saves it and instantly the others see that he has uploaded a document to the EDU team room I will show you later on what he can do um, is well let's say this was the final version of the script he can go to the checklist of the project and he can say well yes I've uploaded my script so I check this uh, point on the checklist because this one I have done it we have a contract as well the documentation isn't ready and project number is not my part this has to do someone else he also can access the knowledge space where he can see drone shot of the office building and well the answer was from him great idea um, and well no he can't vote a second time so two answered and two said it's a great idea but he can he also can um, write articles he can suggest ideas or he can ask questions in the knowledge space as well so this is the view of the team room client David Lee works for an external company but he can upload his documents to the uh, company as well he can um, let's say he can upload some some graphics some pictures from the site inspection he did last week this were those three so that everybody has the same state of information he was on site site inspection and um, made some some photos of the sites where he wants to to film the image video and the others too can see them as well so when we go back to Fritz Keil and go to our project structure which he created early on then we can see the project checklist that David Lee has checked those two points there's a contract and he created a script and when I um, click on this then I see that David Lee did it well I made the project number and well documentation isn't ready and he also can access the script which David Lee uploaded earlier on this is the new version of the script image video Contilo Corp by David Lee and there he says uh, office building drone shot of the Contilo Corp office building and so on so they can exchange documents information um, and uh, they can work together even if they are not in the same company they can they can sit around the world one sits in let's say Europe the other one sits in Asia and the third one sits in Australia or something they can work together with ELO team room and with the ELO ECM suite so what are the benefits of the ELO team room as I said they can sit in any location they can sit when they sit in the or when they work in the same company then um, they can use the collaboration tools which come with ELO um, like the document feed like um, the checklist like the workflow uh, they can use it but the ELO team room members can use some of the collaboration tools as well except the ELO workflow this they, they can't participate on a workflow but it's not necessary uh, for some times um, that they have to participate on them so they can use the document feed as well they can use the checklists as we saw they can even use some business solutions like business solution knowledge where we had the business uh, where the, we had the knowledge space where they had the idea with the drone shot and they voted for yes it's a good idea and so on so it doesn't matter where you sit you can use functionality which comes with ELO you can use the collaboration tools even with external partners as I said now um, so you can collaborate with each other and everybody has the same state of information the 
team room gets synchronized in um yeah you can you can define when it, when it shall be synchronized but in our case it was synchronized instantly so when david lee uploaded an image then um fritz Keil and verona funk could see that he uploaded some things and it's intuitive as you saw the elo team room client which is a web client you don't have to install anything though no, you just get an, an url and and you can log in to your team room um, and you just have to click on the team room then there are folders then there are files you can upload something only uh, via drag and drop and um, it's intuitive i don't think that somebody needs a training for this sort of client so if you are interested in using the ELU team room or the ELU ECM suite, then you can find your ELU business partner on a business partner finder where there are, I think, around 1,000 business partners worldwide. Um, just click on the country, just click on your country flag, and then you can find the business partner which is the nearest from you. So. This was um, collaboration, improved collaboration in times of digital transformation, where we can work together with our collaboration tools, even if you're not in the same company or even if you sit on the other side of the world. I thank you for your attention. And if there are any questions, then you can um, ask it now or you can ask the business partners which you find in our partner finder. So no questions until now. I can't see if somebody is typing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, when there are no questions, then I say thank you and see you next time. Thank you, Edgar, for the interesting presentation. Here also the reference to our upcoming web seminars. These can you also be found under the display page. There you have the possibility to register up to one hour before the start of the web seminar. Thank you, Edgar. Thanks again to all attendees. I wish you all the best. See you soon.